All right, how do I set up Slicer on my computer and get the default config file set to match the Flex Metal 3D printer? Well, let's go out to the internet and let's just search for Slicer 3D printing. Let's see what comes up. Hey, Slicer, S-L-I-C-3-R. Looks like somebody made a typo. All right, let's click on download now. And let's look here. Version 1.2.9. Here's version 1.3.0. This is the newest version. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Windows. And it brings us up some files here. Looks like these are dates listed in the files. Uh, make sure to check your computer if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit uh, system. I'm going to go ahead and click on this file for a 64-bit system. And it's going to download here. Okay, here we go. Slicer. I'm going to click on this arrow to open up this menu. I'm going to click show in folder. Now here's the compressed folder that we just downloaded from Slicer's website. If I right click on that folder it brings up this menu. I want to click on extract all. Now it's asking me to select a destination to where to put this Slicer folder with all of the software and supporting files. So I'm going to click on Browse to choose a new location, and I'm going to put this in my Documents folder, except I don't have a Slicer folder created, so let's go ahead and create one right now. Up here there's a button that says New Folder, so I'm going to click on New Folder, and then let's go ahead and type in Slicer 1.3.0. Main folder. Okay, and double click that. Now I'm going to click on select folder. And this is where it should extract all those slicer files to once we click extract down here. Okay, now this might take uh, a minute or two. So I think I'll speed it up for you. All right, now that it's done, it shows us all the extracted files um, that are in that new folder that we created. So if I go back into click on documents over here, I can see this slicer 1.3.0 main folder that I just created. I double click on that and inside, these are all of the files for slicer. Now, this file down here, this actually is our program. So to make this easier to access, what I want to do is add this to my taskbar. So if I right click on this icon, slicer, and come up, there's an option in this menu that says pin to taskbar. So I'm going to click that. Notice down here at the bottom, the icon for slicer now appears. Okay, next thing that I need to do before I open Slicer is I need to get the config files. And I'm gonna go to Open Source Classroom's website, osc3d.com, and in 3DX, under 3DX Arduino Level 1, If I scroll down to the first week of 3DX, under useful links, one of the links is for Flex Mendel config files for Slicer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. 
and it automatically downloads my files into a zip folder. I'm going to repeat this same process. Now I want to, uh, if I right click on it, I want to extract all and I'm going to hit browse because I want to go back and find my slicer folder. And I'm going to create a new folder, slicer config files. Okay, and now we are ready to open slicer. So I'm going to go ahead and close out everything else on my computer. And, and be patient with slicer. It does take a little while to open the software sometimes. Um, but if you click it multiple times, uh, it will try to open multiple times. All right, here we go. Now, first thing you need to do is set your config file. If you're new to 3D printing, you may want to start with the first layer practice config file. In order to set the path to the config folder that we added in Slicer, click on Documents in the left hand side of this window. Then we're going to double click on our slicer folder. Then I'm going to double click on the slicer config files folder. And now these are my different config files to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and click on OSC Flex 1 first layer practice. Uh, if I'm new to 3D printing and I want to um, have settings that are going to be optimal for me to really learn how to calibrate uh, the 3D printer. I'm going to go ahead and select first layer practice. Now what I notice is that they, uh, in these drop down menus, I can see the name of the config file that I just loaded. That means that the settings in the first layer practice config file are now loaded into Slicer so that when I create my G-code file, the 3D printer will use these settings to accurately create our parts. Now, if I want to make these settings the default settings in Slicer, I'm going to need to save each one of them individually. And I can do that by clicking on the gear to the right of the drop-down menu. So the first one is Print Settings. Let's click on this gear. And you'll notice that it opens up the Print Settings tab. If I just click on save and then OK, that saves those settings as our default settings. Next, I'm going to click on the gear by the filament settings tab. Same procedure, click save, back to the plater. One more time for printer settings, save, OK back to the plater. Now, if I want to double check and make sure that this worked, I can close out of Slicer and reopen it. And if it worked properly, I should see the OSC Flex 1 first layer practice config file loaded in each one of those drop down when menus uh, when Slicer opens up. So we'll just give it a second here. And there you have it. You can see that our OSC Flex 1 first layer practice default config file has been set. So I hope this tutorial has helped you understand how to download and set up Slicer. And uh, good luck.